weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Age Vampires 2 Definitive Edition. Uh, Age Vampires 4 just came out to stores. I haven't got my hands on that one yet. I'm uh, still playing in the Age of Empires 2 era, I guess. But uh, right now, we're having a uh, Arena 4 versus uh, 4 game. So as you can see, it looks like most things are already are already um, are already scouted out. So you can see where all the goats are, for example. And as soon as you're done with that one, I would love it. If you could start working on that, that one, please. Okay. Oh, the mountain goats are like deer. Now I get it. Let's see, five. I need one more to go on to food production. And then we can start checking on um, lumber and things like that. There we go. And then the next one, I would love it if you could start working on that one. No idle peasants. We have seven on food. Maybe that's a bit, a bit much. No. That's, that's really bad. I just wasn't quick enough to get the um, to have them let have them start working on the other sheep. Okay, is there any place for me around here? Doesn't seem like there are any other sheep, right? As soon as you're done with that one, please go to work on that one. Thank you. Now, pretty soon we're gonna need to go with, um, go to work on the boars. And we have them right over here. One is here and the second one is somewhere else entirely, it seems. Where are my boar? There, we have both of them right over there, great. Okay, we're gonna keep working on lumber, I guess, but I can actually have one of um, my peasants build. I need to build another house very soon. So you can actually start building that one, and when you're done, I would love it if you could start building a mill, if you would be so very kind. So and there we got the rest of my sheep. I don't want any idle time on my um, on my town hall, town center. Sorry, town hall is Cossacks. I'm so confused, so messed up, so mixed up. Not messed up, but mixed up. There we go. You start working on that sheep. Feels like something is. So out of sync right now. Super out of sync. So actually I'll have you... No, that's great, that's great. Because as soon you can start lowering the boar, if you would be so very kind. Thank you. And then by the time she gets back, I'll have the other peasants start... Um, the other hunters rather. start shooting it down. So, now I have peasants working on both boar and sheep. Very good. And I also have this little dude over here picking berries because that's a really 
tranquil and soothing action. Nine people on lumber. Is that maybe a bit too much? Yes, it is, is the answer to that question, because I just got pop capped. Most likely because I have no people working on uh, lumber whatsoever. Point wise, I'm not doing very well at all. Almost dead last. It's not good to have. Um, it's not good to have downtime of the town center, town center, at all. But also, we're not that. Uh, we're not uh, nearly where I want us to be with the food production yet. So when you guys are done, we'll need to lure that boar over. So we can start bringing that one down because the food collection time from berries is really bad compared to uh, compared to boar. There we go. Thank you. Now we got that one down. That's good. Now we really have to get somewhere with our uh, with our crop fields as well, and also we need to bring down. Uh, the goats. What's the name of these animals? They are called something. And I have one there. They're called... Oh my god, can you please be visible? Ebex. They're called Ebexes. Already someone advanced to the feudal age. That's really great work for them. I'm gonna be super duper late. On, the, on to the feudal age. Unfortunately. I'm kind of stuck in um, the land of collecting the land of collecting resources, unfortunately, because I'm so slow on my uh, on my food production. Five, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Thank you. You can go right away, please. Or not. There we go. And yet another one right there. And then you guys can actually bring down the Ebex thing right now. Wow, everyone is so far ahead of me right now. Really hope I have great teammates that can carry me throughout all this. I knew that something was super off. Really need to get more people on food, of course, but also on to... Really, I'll have almost 30... Uh, almost 30 villagers before I'm up to... Um, before I'm up to feudal age. That's not good at all. But I'm just gonna hope that I'm gonna bring it back late game, hopefully. And they're gonna work on the food right there. And please give me some food. There we go. Now we're going up to feudal age. Finally, I'm one of the last boys. Most likely, I will be the last one to reach feudal age. But it's going well for the rest of my team, so that's good. I can always hang my hat on their accomplishments and when you're done with that one I want to go on to the next ebex that one and then that one thank you the lumber production is going awesome and there now I'm officially the last player in the game to reach feudal age so bad, so bad. But hopefully my food production is gonna go up so I don't have to worry about that too much anymore. However, I also know that I am starting to run out of population space so I need to build more houses. I don't want to get pop capped. I don't need that going against me as well. You can start going to the berries. Do I have someone working on gold? Yes, I do. 
Very nice, very nice. So at least I have... Oh my god, really? Castle Age already? What the dang hell? Someone did a really good job on their... Um... Someone did a really good job on their uh, on their early game. Let's see, get the lumber axe, whatever, and let's see. Thank you. And I'll need to build a barrack as well. And we'll need more of everything as usual. But we have a lot of people on lumber, so that's good. I'll renew that lumber camp. The start of this game felt so slow, felt really, really slow. Okay, someone's pinging. Pinging stuff. Thank you. Now you guys can go on to food production instead. We have seven of you. Five, six, seven. Thank you. Finally, hopefully, we can get somewhere with the food production. And I have one guy right there. It seems like he wants to do more with his life than just standing around. So I'm going give him, to give him something more to do with his life. Building, construction, and constructing a damn market that we can't even reach yet. Okay, food is going well, gold is going well. So as soon as I got all the buildings that I need, I should be able to go up to, um, to castle quite quickly. And I'm playing as Japanese. So, of course, I'm going to go with Samurais later on down the line. Thank you. And very soon, I will be able to go up to the Castle Age. I just need my market. And then I'm ready. Someone is pinging like crazy. Please? Any second now. There we go. Straight up to Castle Age. There we go. I'm really happy that he's not locked in at least. I'm gonna build... I'm really not that good at the strategy of... Okay, I need to plan for this military because I'm this so I have to do this. I'm just building everything and hoping for the best. I know the fletching is good. Spoken like a true noob. 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 Okay. Purple is not on our team. So I really need to get ready against that. I'll make some spearmen just in case they come with scouts. And I got brought down by their spearmen. Really good, uh, good work. So, because they have spearmen, I guess I need to make archers or something like that. Going good, going well, going well. Do I have any idle peasants? Yes, I do. I do not want any more cavalry. But I do want some archers, though. I know that much. And he is Teutons, so they're gonna have some strong. They have the, they'll have the Teutonic Knights later on down the line. And once again, I built it in a place where I can't access. So I'm gonna destroy my wall, and then I'll build one town center right over there. And then I'll have one town center right over here. Right smack dab in the middle of my food fields. Great. Do you call it food, fe food fields? Farms. Farms, of course they're farms. Uh, 
Okay, I am very much running out of several of my resources, it seems. So, please. Uh, food, we need more of that. And also we need more gold and need more wood and more stone. So, uh, we do need a lot of things. A lot of things. I guess you can go back with that lumber and then I would like you to create a stone mine right over there. And we actually were able to bring down their spearmen, so that's good. That's good. At least I won't lose this game um, without having killed even one unit. They can go to gold as soon as they're done, I guess. Thank you, lumber. You already have a good queue. You guys will need to go on to gold. As soon as you're done, I know husbandry is a good... Um, it's a good upgrade to get because it gives your cavalry more HP. And I need more food. I have a lot of peasants on lumber, but not nearly enough on food. So we'll have to take some from lumber, cutting down, and uh, go to the farms. And right just now I'm getting horse color and Ant of Empire. Imperial Age, while we have one of our top players aren't even in Castle Age yet. How is this possible? Well, Red at least has an army, that's way more than you can say of from my case. Bloodlines, even more... Even more... Um, HP for the cavalry. Okay, great. I'm just going through so that I have enough peasants, and then of course I run out of population space. Pop capped, so to speak. And I have all upgrades in my town hall, so there's nothing more for me to upgrade right there. Um, I want to upgrade for spearmen, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Where is all of my food going? I'm just gonna make a couple of... Uh, a night or so, just so that I can do some good harassing. And purple still wants to keep an eye out on for me. Making long swordsmen. Is he trying to lure me out? And there they have skirmishers as well. Oh wow. He really has an army. In uh... Right by my base. Right by my base. And I need more gold for that one. That's not gonna be a problem for long. And now the other green up to Imperial Age as well. Wow, those guys are not noobs. I can tell you that much. Not noobs at all. Okay, how much to go up to the Imperial Age? I need... Um, Castle Age buildings like Academy and... I don't know, I'm just building. Hopefully it works out. Let's see if I can snipe their skirmishers with the knights. I would very much hope so. There we go. And no. And now he's pulling back. I feel like such a boss right now. Unfortunately, that's most likely gonna turn any second now. I'm floating so many resources for no apparent reason at all.
So I'm just trying to make units, I guess. And I need to upgrade the mineral collection, whatever, as well. And I want that relic as well. When can I go? I need more food and more gold. Okay, we can make that happen. Let's sell some lumber for gold. And then we'll just wait for the food to pop up. How does that sound? Okay, we actually do have a... It feels like I'm shouting into the mic. I'm sorry in that case, ladies and gentlemen. Um, three. I want to get the relic. That's just outside my gates. And in order to get that, I need to get a priest. Okay, and now I'm housed again. What the dang? Thank you. Hopefully I won't have to be pop capped again anytime soon. But I mean, the purple player is still in castle age. Let's see if I can try to do... Oh, what? Yeah, this looks promising. Doesn't look promising at all. Okay, pull back. So they have a whole bunch of, of cavalry. So then, of course, I will need to have a whole bunch of pikemen. Gosh, dang it. And the priest felt so promising in the beginning. Too bad every dream must come to an end. No, let's close that gate. And we'll see if we can get some ranged unit out, units out here. Thank you. Now I can get some passive income from that relic. And even more people are advancing into onto the Imperial Age. How can they do that? How can they get all the resources for it? I don't understand. My stone is going fine though, just... Just all of their uh, players are going, coming towards my base right now. And I do not like that. Let's see if I can communicate some with my boys. Help, please, because this does not look good at all. Let's see how fast we can get a bunch of pikemen up and running. And I cannot afford a castle yet, however I am floating a lot of gold. Most likely one of the most stupid decisions I could have made. But still. And now we are screwed royally. Yellow is coming along as Britons. Thank you so much. However, I think it is very much too late. Let's see if we can start sniping down some of their cavalry with our town halls. Maybe, maybe not, but they are starting to bring down our um, barracks as well, and that's not good. They have so much cavalry. Winged Hussars. I recognize them far too well from, uh, from Cossacks. It 
is always it always sucks when I'm the first one to go just because I'm the weakest just because I'm the weakest I'm the runt of the litter And they're bringing down the market as well, bringing down everything. And yellow is the only one coming to my aid. Red doesn't care. Blue, I guess, has his own issues. That's really too bad, too bad. Do I have enough resources to start with another army of pikemen? I don't think so, they're bringing down everything. And now they come with the trebuchets and start bringing down my last town center as well. And then I guess it will be RIP for my civilization. Look how peaceful it looks for yellow. Looks so peaceful. Red as well, so peaceful. And my base, dead, totally destroyed. Blue and red is at least trying. That's good. However, I don't think the long swordsmen are the best choice against winged hussars. I don't think so. Yeah, I guess it's time for me to re to retreat now, to resign. This felt like such a slow game. I miss... Um, I had such a bad timing on basically everything all the time. Too bad, too bad. Anyway, I hope you uh, learned how not to do it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Resign.